Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello, so today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic related to conflict, group and resolution. Uh, first I will discuss a little bit about what do we understand by conflict and then what are the problems generally we face when we are having uh, groups and we have to perform certain things in a group and how we can manage or we can resolve conflicts. You know conflict uh, is an area <coughs> generally people look this something very negative means people do not appreciate. Nobody wants to have uh, conflicts. Uh, nobody would like that let us have conflicts. So, this is something which everybody try to avoid, but the fact is that this is inevitable. Whether we want or we do not want, it will always be there. In fact, in other words, one can say that uh, it is just like uh, unwanted friend, we can say, or it will be there. So, now the, if the question is that if we have to live with the con conflict, we have to survive with the conflict, uh, then what should be the best way? to manage or to resolve conflict. So, this is the thing which we are going to discuss. Uh, this is of course, a very broad area and uh, lots of research, lots of studies have been carried out in different contexts. Uh, my focus will be that through communication skills approach, uh, what strategies we uh, make so that we can minimize the conflicting situations and uh, how we can get our work done. Just I will read one or two uh, definitions, so how the scholars in this area have looked at conflict. <coughs> For example, uh, one of the scholars, Deutsch 1971, he writes that conflict exists whenever incompatible activities occur. An action which is incompatible with another action prevents, obstructs, interferes with or injures or in some way makes it less likely or less effective. So, like that there are several such definitions uh, in different contexts related to conflict, but there are scholars in fact uh, who are the opinion that uh, conflict should not be uh, seen all the time something very uh, negative and something which is unpleasant, but also a conflict can be uh, viewed as something which might give something uh, further insight to think or some new ideas also might come. In other words, one can say that uh, they consider this in a very positive manner, positive way. Uh, they think that conflict is not always uh, negative, rather it, it should be, it may be helpful, it may be uh, something very positive for the growth, for the development of the organization or also in other contexts this might be very useful. So, just I will like to uh, take, these are some of the definitions which I would like to skip. When we talk about group, so generally people say that when we are working in a group, so there is a goal which we have to achieve, but of course, no two individuals are having the same kind of nature and behavior. So, at times because of several issues, may be misunderstanding, may be misinterpretation, may be difficulties in understanding each other's views, uh, some sorts of conflicts uh, occur in group. So, what exactly is the group? A group may be regarded as an organized structure composed of individuals having a common purpose, interdependence and division of labor. 
So, group members are aware of one another and communicate about the common goal. So, in a group generally what, what is happening that people are having a common goal and uh, with their best effort and understanding they try to achieve that goal. Now, whether it is group or in other context uh, as well, our communication behavior is playing very, very vital role, very important role. Uh, group communication is all about everyday talk and relationship, especially the relationship between people. Relationship matters a lot in the functioning of the group. If the group uh, which we form or is being formed, uh, the members in the group, if they are not one can say like minded or having some good relationship with each other, perhaps uh, they may find it uh, difficult to interact, to communicate. As a result, uh, they cannot achieve the goal in a prescribed uh, time frame or uh, they cannot perform the way it should have been. Uh, as I mentioned that it is quite possible that sometimes uh, due to various regions some sort of conflicts might occur in a group as well. So, whenever conflicts happens in the group, it should be seen not simply as a battle of ideas, but as a battle between people who have ideas. Basically, what is happening that uh, many times because of the individual differences, because of the liking and disliking, because of several factors which perhaps uh, many times not known to us. <coughs> what others are thinking about me, what others are thinking about uh, the group members and that causes lots of uh, problem, lots of misunderstanding. So, in a group, working in a group, this is very, very important that relationship matters a lot. If you are not having good relationship, if you do not understand each other properly, then there is a chance that we will be putting ourselves in conflicting situations. There might be difference of opinion and that can be taken in a very uh, right spirit, uh, but uh, not necessarily that uh, we, we can always uh, fight and quarrel uh, and try to show that uh, I am better than you or I, my ideas are better than you. It is nothing, nothing like that. If the group members have having a proper understanding and good relationship, they will always try to understand each other's opinion and they will come up with something which is really very much acceptable to everybody. So, a group can promote its own decision making capacities by setting a definite agenda, doing a thorough problem analysis, assessing its goals and thoroughly assessing alternative possibilities. Promotive communication and counteractive communication are ways to keep groups on task. So, uh, what I can say that whenever we talk about group, two things are very, very important working in a group and achieving the goal. One is that proper communication, effective communication and second thing is that group members should have a good relationship. If these two things are happening, then definitely group will function very nicely and achieve the goal. There are se several types of in fact conflict. Uh, just uh, quickly I will tell for our discussion, convenience of our discussion, these are the five con types. First one is intrapersonal and then we have interpersonal, intragroup, intergroup, international conflict. Intrapersonal conflict very simple, many times it happens that we are having inner conflicts, means we are uh, in a state of dilemma, we are not able to take a decision what to do, what not to do and this becomes really very difficult. So, what to do? Uh, this kind of situations come almost uh, in everybody's life where nobody is there to suggest, to recommend and we have to take a decision. Uh, we are not in a position to say either yes or no, to accept or not to accept or reject. So, many such situations come in our life and yeah, people try their level best to overcome and here of course, when we are in such kind of dilemma that is called inner conflict, uh, we, 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 are, uh, we are in a position that we cannot make decision. So, this becomes, this goes for some time and one fine morning uh, we take decision based, of, be, based on our experience and knowledge 
we think that okay, let us let us take this decision. So that is called uh, inner conflict or intrapersonal conflict, and others are like interpersonal conflict. This is also very simple when two peoples are having conflicts or two groups are having conflict that is uh, interpersonal conflict. Sometimes within a group as I have mentioned the people might be having conflict that is intrapersonal conflict and intergroup means when two groups have been formed. So, many times it happens that groups are also fighting uh, in each with each other because they are having the feeling of group and then uh, because they, they want to put other group down and they want to prove that. Uh, the one group is better than other, then of course, some conflicts might occur and international conflict is always there as we know that uh, many countries are having border issues, border problems and uh, they very often conduct uh, meetings and then one meeting is postponed for another meeting. So, this is a continuous process, but conflict is there. So, beginning from intrapersonal from within to international level. So, this shows that yes, conflict is very much there, we cannot avoid it is there, we have to survive, we have to live uh, uh, with different kinds of conflicts. Now, the question comes that yes, if conflicts are there, is there any way? So, before coming to the ways, we can quickly have that sources of conflict, there are several sources of conflict. Uh, beginning from uh, culture and religion, uh, I would like to mention here that uh, uh, amongst many other uh, sources, the religion and the culture, these are uh, the one of the uh, very, very uh, important sources of uh, conflict one can say that people become very sensitive the moment we start talking or start attacking rather uh, somebody's culture and religion. So, uh, one should try to avoid to comment uh, somebody's culture or religion and we can see that throughout the world uh, these issues are becoming very, very serious uh, based related to religion and culture. Of course, there are many other uh, sources for example, difference in ideology, educational differences, differences in experiences, competitions are there perception how we perceive about others, inadequate or poor communication, misuse of power. So, these are some are some of the other sources of conflict which uh, one can uh, consider and try to overcome these. So, communication related problems are there, power if a person is in, uh, in a powerful position then sometimes try to uh, uh, use this power or misuse the power with the subordinates, with the colleagues and that causes lots of conflict. Now, I would like to mention that what are the strategies as a, uh, as a student of communication one can try uh, to overcome the or resolve or manage conflict. So, uh, this might be in two parts, one is verbal communication strategies uh, and for conflict management and other one is that non-verbal. So, first I will start with the verbal. First thing is that descriptive speech, what does it mean? Descriptive speech takes care of admitting one assertions, whatever we are speaking, we, we have to be very cautious, very careful, assertive. We should not be in a dilemma that uh, it should have some dual meaning or the meaning is not clear, people might understand something else. So, big, uh, uh, stating the issues and the problem in a very assertive manner, this is very, very important, very clearly. Choice of word, this is very important because the words are very, very powerful. Uh, generally, we advise that as far as possible, we should not use negative words. Generally, people are in habit of using negative words rather than positive words. Uh, I am not saying that one, one should not use uh, negative words, if required sometimes uh, it can be used, but ratio should be something like 5 to 1, means I have spoken 5 good words for something or for some people and then if I am uh, stating or uh, using one negative words and with that also, I say that uh, uh, if uh, these things th these things are very good, a person is having all these good qualities, but he is lacking in something and uh, if he can or she can improve in this area, things will be for better. So, choice of word is very, very important because once we utter uh, such words, maybe with our friends, colleagues, with family members or uh, in any uh, situation. Uh, what has gone, it can be never taken back and people take it otherwise and lots of misinterpretation and problem and issues come. 
So, it is better that whenever we are speaking or opening our mouth, we should be very cautious, very careful about our choice of words. Then there are semantic obstacles to communication like sometimes uh, knowingly or unknowingly we are using slang and uh, stereotype word that you cannot do or women cannot do something like that or people coming from some particular place cannot perform, cannot do. So, we should not generalize otherwise everybody will feel very bad. There might be one or two uh, exceptions, but that exception does not mean that we can say something for the whole nation, for the whole country, for the whole state, for the whole people. So, we should try to avoid. Automatic phrasing means th there are some people, they are in habit of using lots of you know such words, what is called paralinguistics means while speaking some very often you know, you know, you know, they will be using I mean, I mean, I mean or clearing the throat or using such words uh, which might be little bit disturbing to the audience or others like uh, aha, oho, ihi means such type of words uh, if a person is very frequently using or seeking support stating something and asking that is not it, am I right. So, they want indirectly seek the support of the audience and some of the people might not feel very comfortable. So, these things can be avoided. So, far the syntactic uh, selection is concerned impact of threats, hostile joking uh, and uh, uh, sarcastic remarks etcetera. These things are also uh, should be avoided. Unnecessarily one should not uh, give threatening to the people. Uh, some people are in habit of just gi giving threatening or uh, joking and sarcastic remarks. So, these things can be avoided. If there is a problem then uh, we should uh, know how to uh, identify the problem, this is something very, very important. Many times it happens that problems lie somewhere else is and uh, people are not able to go into deep to identify the problem. So, this is really very difficult, but once we identif and identify the problem, then we can propose the solution and from time to time we can also assess the solution. There should be spontaneous, it means these things should come in a very natural way, spontaneous way and uh, we should have empathy for the people, uh, equal chance we should give and whatever decision we take, it should be in a provisional way, it is not final and forever, means uh, one can always think that yes with the time, with the situation things might change. So, one should be ready to uh, accept these facts. There are lots of you know normal communication things like uh, sometimes you know because of our appearance, each culture has got its own uh, what is called codes. Uh, that is already fixed by the society, by the culture and if the moment we are violating the code about our clothing style, about our hair style, about our sitting, walking. So, our appearance, how do we appear? So, that also might cause if you are not uh, able to adjust ourselves accord according to the social conditioning. Kinesics means the movement of hands, our uh, the body language and our gesture and postures also should be appropriate. Our eye contact is very, very important, our touching behavior, how much space we maintain and use while talking with others. So, all such things are uh, very, very important while talking, interacting with others. Uh, uh, if you are not very much cautious and aware, uh, then we might invite unnecessary problems and we might be put in a conflicting situations. Now, finally, I would like to mention that yes, conflicts are there. So, we have uh, these verbal, non-verbal uh, strategies and now just uh, a few styles are there. There are number of styles. So, for our convenience, I am here mentioning a few. First one is avoiding style. That means, uh, if the situation is such that uh, we can avoid because many small things happens in our life, uh, in our day to day interaction, where we need not to put lots of em emphasis and we can just simply avoid. Uh, suppose uh, one day, one fine morning we find that my subordinate, my colleague due to uh, any reason uh, he is not wishing or not saying good morning. So, I should not feel very bad, it might be every day he was doing, but today he has just forgotten or might be that he was under pressure or he was uh, thinking something else, just forgot. So, we should not take it uh, very seriously that you see that uh, he is my junior and uh, he is supposed to salute me, he is supposed to say me good morning 
and show respect uh, and he is not doing so is there something wrong and uh, I should not uh, form very uh, bad opinion about him or her. So and many times it happens in school, colleges, some of the friends uh, uh, also call by uh, some uh, nicknames and then students feel very bad. But we can avoid means unnecessarily we should not make the small issues big. And this is very, very important in our uh, family, in our society that uh, if uh, something has spoken something uh, which perhaps at that particular moment uh, he was not knowing or by mistake, unknowingly, unintentionally something has come, so come up. So, we should have patience to listen and just avoid means we should not put unnecessary lots of emphasis on these issues. Another style is you know forcing style. Sometimes uh, this is also very uh, important that uh, if uh, uh, situation demands, uh, we can force the people to uh, to get the work done. Suppose uh, uh, if I am the manager or head or director, and I find that some of our colleagues are not listening, not doing, then perhaps uh, it becomes important because other colleagues are getting affected, and they feel that. Uh, why I should do if others are, are one of them are just sitting idle and getting all the benefits. So, this becomes my duty to force him and if, re if required we can give him or her warning that look uh, I have given you enough time, uh, enough warning and if you are not able to perform, if you are not able to do our duties properly then some uh, disciplinary action might be taken. So, like that we can uh, make him understand or her understand that yes, whatever he or she is doing it is wrong and he is not supposed to do that and whatever is required he is supposed to do. So, we have to force. Many times it happens that uh, we, we, we are forcing our small children or students to do or perform certain things, studies. Uh, sometimes they want to play, they want do not want to study, but we force no, 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 we have to first complete this job only then you will get this. Like sometimes parents are uh, telling to a small kid that you perform, you complete your homework and then I will give you chocolate. Similarly, in our professional life uh, also it happens that uh, we force directly or indirectly, our intention is not bad, only to avoid conflicts. So, the message should go to others that yes, uh, everybody is equal and everybody is supposed to perform. And then another style is accommodating styles. Uh, sometimes you know uh, in our personal life or even in professional life, uh, we have to accommodate to avoid conflicts and uh, many times uh, we accommodate. A good example might be that in our marital uh, relationship, uh, we, we accommodate each other behavior, habits, food habits, uh, style of worship, having faith. So, we are, we, 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 we are just uh, accommodating each other to avoid conflict. So, if necessary, if the situation demands, we can also use uh, this type of style. Another one is collaborative styles. As we are aware that there are lots of you know companies, uh, maybe automobile company and also in insurance sectors or like that uh, many firms, many companies are there and uh, uh, they were competing with each other and spending huge amount of money and time and energy. Nowadays, one can find that lots of collaborative research, collaborative venture, joint ventures are going on and uh, both uh, the companies, both the parties are in win-win situations. Lots of collaborative research are going on. Earlier, they were fighting with each other, uh, they were having lots of you know conflicts with, with each other, but they they thought that uh, uh, this is unnecessarily spending huge amount of money and the time and energy. So, it is better that let us come forward and uh, shake hands and we will work together. So, both are benefited and both are in win-win situation. So, this is also one of the styles that if the situation is such that we can have collaborative research, collaborative work that is better. And the last one is compromising style. Sometimes you know in our life situation demand that we have to compromise, uh, there is no other way. Uh, we compromise with the situation. Many times in our life uh, such occasions come that we do not have any other way uh, to find out other any other solution, but to compromise. So, considering that we also compromise and uh, 
think that perhaps this is the best best way. So I I I, I would not say that which one is the best one. In fact, uh, all these styles are good. It depends on us. It depends on our knowledge and wisdom. Uh, depending on the context and situation, how we can apply these kind of styles. And uh, if we are a little bit aware about these things, I am not saying that, uh, uh, for example, one should always avoid. No, 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 it is not like that. Always avoid if the problems come, situation comes, anybody is coming, passing any comment or creating problem for us. So, we keep on avoiding. No, no, it is not, uh, it is not like that that all the time we keep on avoiding. Uh, there, if the situation is such that we cannot avoid, do not avoid. Uh, if the situation is that uh, we need not to force, do not force. Uh, if the situation is uh, such that uh, it's a, it's a, uh, we cannot accommodate, do not accommodate. But if with peace of mind, uh, if you understand that uh, no, we can manage, so let us manage, let us try. So all these styles are good, so depending on the situation, we can uh, use one of these styles and we will find that we are able to manage conflicts if not resolve. Because many times immediately we cannot get solution to the problem. So, we should not be very sad. Many times it happens that with the time some solutions comes. Let us wait and watch and then um, we can get some sort of solution to the problem. So, finally, I would like to conclude uh, that the communication skills approach encourages people to face rather than to flee from conflict. So, it very clearly one can say that we should not flee, run away from the conflicting situations, rather face, we have to face. The ability to develop a flexible and appropriate attitude to conflict can transform a potentially destructive situation into a positive interaction. If we understand properly to resolve conflict, this will open up always a new opportunity that will allow us to participate and part, sorry, participate in and even embrace conflict situations as a source of change and growth. So, conflict should not be considered or taken always something very negative, rather it is also should be taken in positive way, because it might help for the change and the growth of our uh, ideas of our personality for our organization. So, uh, finally, I would like to just say that yes, a conflict should not be considered uh, always something very negative. It is an opportunity perhaps to, to know something different, something better, some new ideas might come, because in a group suppose there are some people and always they are yes sir, yes sir, yes man, what is called yes man. So, new ideas will never come. Somebody is coming with different ideas that particular moment, yeah, when difference of opinion, different views, different ideas, let there be, let it be there. It is quite possible something better, something different might come and with that, if we work together, perhaps we shall be in a better position and we shall uh, be in a position to handle conflict uh, uh, slightly better than others. So, con communication of course, in any situation is playing very, very important role. So, in any conflict two things are very important, in a group two things are very important that is called our communication behavior and relationship with others. In life relationship really matters a lot and we should try to maintain and advance our relationship. In my next lecture, I will try to emphasize on how to build a relationship. Thank you very much.